Hello, and welcome to the Dr. Grant Show. Today's topic, we'll be talking about how to stop overeating by using sound healing. I'll be covering today three main areas. Number one, the science behind sound healing, also commonly known as sound baths. Number two, my experience with sound baths, sound healing, as well as working with certain pilot studies to help people that struggle with emotional eating, food addiction, food binges, as well as just good old fashioned stress eating, or if they're trying to lose weight. I want to share my experience with you so that you can understand a little bit more of the personal background behind it. And number three, the power of coupling EFT tapping with sound healing and why these make a very wonderful and powerful combination. Welcome to the show. Let's go. So the science behind sound healing, first of all, very often people may get a wee bit weirded out when you talk about healing, but allow me to clarify here. When I speak of in the context of sound healing, it is not the sound that heals. It is activating the actual healing mechanisms inside of you by identifying what's blocking you and helping you calm down and neural regulate yourself <laughs> so that you can be open to and allow your cells to be open to healing themselves. And I see we have someone that joined us. Hello, hello, grand rising to you and happy hump day. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. So that's the thing. I want to tell you a little bit more about the science because there was an article and a special news segment that was recently on the news that talked about sound healing and sound baths. And for this reason, I became extremely excited and wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about it because a lot of people are very unfamiliar with, although it's growing in popularity, sound baths and sound healing. So very brief points. The show will last us in half an hour, give or take. So the science behind sound healing and sound baths and why they work. First of all, there are numerous research studies that have shown that sound baths, which can include, like you see behind me, these crystal singing bowls or Tibetan singing bowls, tingshas, tuning forks, um, steel tongue drums, even voice, which is sometimes uh, called vocal toning. Any one of these things can be used to help facilitate a sound bath. Sound baths and sound healing are different than simply playing music. It is impactful and powerful, just like music, because think of your, think of your favorite song, better yet, Think of your favorite song from back long time ago when you were in high school and your favorite song came on. Just go back in time for a second. I want you to close your eyes. Think back to high school. Think about what you were wearing. No judgment. <laughs> I think we all wore different things in high school, although every trend comes back. So maybe we'll be cool again for our, our special fashions in high school. But think about what you saw. Think about what you were feeling at that time. Think about what you were hearing at that time. Then, then think about your favorite song coming on. Maybe you were at a party. Maybe you were riding in the car with friends, maybe you were driving, but think about how your favorite song made you feel. Sometimes we've had amazing, memorable experiences while our favorite song was playing in the background and that made for it becoming our favorite song. Either way, my point is music is powerful. What you just experienced right then right there was the power of sound, in this case, music, 
to evoke a certain emotion. And just then, just then, your neuroreceptors produce a chemical reaction throughout your body and a chemical cascade eliciting dopamine and serotonin. Just in this brief tour around our mental world and block right now, today. So that's dotting a little bit more into the science and the power of just music alone. Now, let's dive a little bit deeper into a tangent on sound healing and sound baths. Sound healing, commonly known as sound baths or sound bath meditation, the secret lies in a few things. Number one, the frequencies that are played with the individual bowls. Each individual bowl has its own frequency that activates certain parts of the body. So you can play or you can attend a sound bath, but if the person hasn't taken time to ask questions ahead of time in terms of ferreting out what it is that you need, then the sound bath will be lovely. I've heard sound baths and sound healings uh, being likened to some one lady told me a Pink Floyd concert, but she smiled. So I'm assuming that this is a good thing. So the science behind your sound healing and sound baths entails evoking the feeling with serotonin and dopamine with those chemicals being evoked and upticking those chemicals. The other aspect of sound healing, and feel free to drop any questions in the chat either now or after the show episode has concluded, or feel free to text me at 312-601-8510 with your questions. The other part of the science of sound healing is the binaural beats. If frequencies are played within, well, I would say about 10 decibels, hertz of each other, the frequencies have actually helped tune your brain. The other aspect of the science here is, and this is what's so wonderful about it, scientific research studies have shown that sound healing can actually help with your brain waves and slowing them down. Why should you care? Because this helps access and reach the subconscious mind. Now, when you couple up sound healing and sound baths with other powerful modalities like EFT tapping, which stands for emotional freedom technique, or hypnotherapy, or psychology, then you also have a very powerful combination that can 10x the effectiveness of sound healing. One last point about the science of sound healing and sound therapy. When you move your brain waves and your body and those trap doors that you're working to keep shut, those, and when I refer to trap doors, I mean certain memories that are unwittingly navigating your behavior into areas that you don't want, especially if you struggle with overeating or binge eating or food addiction, learning how to identify the root of the problem, hold it up to the light, make peace with it, find out what its purpose is and driving you to this behavior. People that I've worked with that struggle with overeating, binge eating, food addiction, they experience a freedom like they've never known without, without using willpower, without out counting their calories because we're finally, 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 finally getting to the root of the problem. Research studies have also shown that sound healing has been very effective in helping and coupled up with a medical program for depression and symptoms of depression, anxiety, stress, even pain relief. Now, make no mistake, especially if you are under a doctor's care for a medical condition or ailment, the goal of sound healing is not to replace your doctor's recommendation and advice. The goal of sound baths 
and sound healing is to complement these things. Allow me to share with you my experience with sound baths and sound healing. I've actually been studying the science behind sound baths and sound healing for 30 years. I remember the first time that I encountered in the library when I was younger, and yes, it's been a while, don't, don't, don't count, <laughs> don't count the years there. I remember when I was younger, a teenager, and I, self-professed nerd, bookworm here, and I encountered information on frequency, vibration, and the power of how it can help regulate, tune, and improve the health of cells. At the time, this science was in its infancy, kind of went along in the bucket of, at that time, 30 years ago. And for those of you that are watching this and you're in the medical profession, I'm sure you'll agree, yoga, psychiatry, chiropractic medicine. 30 years ago, these things were considered quackery. Now, scientific research has caught up and discovered that, ah, these things are actually a viable form of helping people achieve a healthier lifestyle. And I couldn't be happier. But 30 years ago, when I first started encountering, reading about the power of bathing the cells in sound, looking at certain studies conducted by researchers and scientists, I felt the potential then. I always kept track of it. I always studied it. Even though, even though my first doctor degree I earned was in health psychology and the second one in clinical holistic nutrition, I wanted to understand the mind because I felt that if I understood the mind, then everything else after that would be a cornerstone. I reconnected with sound healing and sound baths during the height of the pandemic. I was experiencing massive headaches. As soon as I opened my eyes in the morning, I could barely breathe because the headaches felt as if the mythical god Thor had taken his hammer and cracked my head open. I wasn't able to be a good mother to our children because of the immense pain. I couldn't be the wife that I imagined myself being because of the pain. And the pain was sporadic, intermittent, no rhyme or reason or pattern. In the middle of the day, from out of nowhere, I could all of a sudden have an episode of pain. That was so debilitating that there was one time that I even dropped my plate um, in the kitchen. So at that time, I thought I had a good practice going to mitigate the stress of the pandemic. I was actively using EFT tapping and yoga. And just one day, it stopped working. So I need to find something else. And I was thinking about it, mulling it over. And all of a sudden it came to me to go back into the research that I had found and uncovered on sound healing and sound baths and the vibrations and the frequencies and look up new research studies to see how much development progress has happened. And that is when I reconnected with sound healing and sound baths in the form of tuning forks, still tongue drums, and crystal singing bowls, as well as chimes. And a miraculous thing happened. My headaches, they began to go away. My mind also cleared. I was able to think more clearly. I was able to execute plans for my business as an owner, an entrepreneur. I became a better wife because I was no longer inhibited by pain. I also drastically reduced the intensity, the frequency, and the duration of stress eating and emotional eating. So it was a win-win all the way across the board. And because of that, I naturally dropped and lost weight. So if this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then stay tuned because in less than a few minutes, I'm going to take you over here for a quick tour and a quick brief sound bath session for you. Okay. Now, in my research, I also found and was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised to discover that EFT tapping 
which I combined with sound healing, was used in the Sandy Hook events that happened several years ago. For those of you that are unfamiliar with Sandy Hook, what happened there is that a very disturbed person went to a elementary school or middle school and he attacked um, and re released fire on the students and the teachers and people were hurt and worse. EFT tapping was used during those Sandy Hook events that happened years ago. So I figured if EFT tapping can be that powerful to help people dealing with the trauma of the Sandy Hook massacres and that very traumatic event, and if I coupled it with the science that I found about sound baths, which as I said before, the science has shown from numerous research studies that sound baths and sound healing have been used to activate and even help upregulate the body's immune response to certain viruses, address symptoms of depression when used as a complement to your primary care physician's medical treatment plan, address anxiety, vastly lower and reduce stress as well as pain. So I figured if all the science is there, why not combine them? And I started using this approach in a pilot study with certain clients in my digital wellness practice. In my digital wellness uh, health practice, I work with stressed emotional eaters and food addicts and people that are looking to lose weight. But we do it and how we have found this to be so effective is because we're not talking about your weight. We're not talking about adjusting your diet, not even talking about more willpower, guilt tripping you or shaming you into eating the celery <laughs> as opposed to the food that you normally like to eat because we're getting to the root of the problem. And the root often has germinated when they're younger through something that happened that wasn't what they needed at that time. We pull it up and we cut the emotional and the energetic bonds to that problem. And it's almost like finally closing the trap door that a person has been exerting so much energy to regulate and keep shut. Now they're free. Now the end effect is the foods that are normally their tempting foods lose their appeal and their power. Once again, without us talking about dieting, without starving yourself, without hopping on an exercise instrument device of any kind. Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge advocate for exercise, but you should feel pulled towards participating in physical activity as opposed to being pushed. And that's what I have been experiencing in my pilot studies and test studies with my clients in my digital wellness practice. So we've covered the science of sound healing and sound baths. We have covered my experience, especially by adding EFT tapping. Finally, we have covered another aspect that's very important when you combine and utilize uh, in the power of EFT tapping. We've talked about how powerful it is that it was even used to help those survivors that dealt with the trauma of the Sandy Hook Middle School or Grammar School massacres. So let's go ahead and dive deeper into EFT tapping, our divine EFT tapping sound baths. Once again, if you guys have any questions either now or afterwards, feel free to either send me a DM, direct message, drop a question in the chat, or you can text me at 312-601-8510. A brief overview of EFT tapping sound baths is that it entails working with and unblocking certain energy centers. This works along the same lines as 
acupuncture or acupressure and working with the meridians of the body. So instead of working with all of the thousands of meridians that the body has, we're working with the major ones. You start by tapping here with two fingers on the karate chop point, then move to tapping at the top of the head, then move to tapping on the inner brow, tapping now on the outer brow, tapping underneath the eye, tapping. And for those of you that just joined us, I'm talking about the EFT tapping points. Tap the lip, the chin, collarbone, and about four inches underneath your arm. So now you've gotten the breakdown of where to tap. What do we say when we're tapping? The common tapping phrase is, even though, and then we insert our problem, I deeply and completely love and respect myself. Sometimes I will say love, honor, and respect myself. You start with the intention and identify how you feel about this problem on a scale of one to 10. Eight and above is this problem feels unwieldy, it's unmanageable, I don't see a solution. Three and below means I've got the problem under control. At the end of your tapping session, you assess again. The goal is to move the feeling that you have for the problem at least two numerical points lower. Often, what I've found in my EFT tapping sound baths with my clients, the problem has vastly moved uh, more than two points. All right, so now we've got the basics. Let me take you on over here to the singing bowls, all right? And we will go through a brief, quick, divine EFT tapping, sound healing, sound bath session. All right, so now I'm over here with the crystal singing bowls. Let's begin on focusing on our intention. An intention. Today's intention for today, if you need a wee bit of inspiration, today's intention, what we'll be doing is working on de-stressing and calming ourselves down, especially if we may have overate the night before or even thinking about overeating now. So begin by tapping on the karate chop point. Rate the way you feel right now about whatever it is that you may be struggling with if you've overeaten or if you're planning on overeating or if you're stress eating or if you are a food addict. And repeat after me. Even though I overate I didn't mean to. I didn't plan on it. I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping on the karate chop point. When ready, move to tapping at the top of the head. Repeat after me. Even though I feel a little bit of guilt from overeating, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. 
Breathe in, breathe out. Continue tapping on the top of the head. On the inner brow, repeat after me, even though that person, that place, that project may not have turned out the way I planned. I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping on the inner brow. Breathe in, breathe out. When ready, move to tapping on the outer brow and repeat after me. Even though I may have said what I didn't plan to say yesterday, last week, this month, or even today, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Breathe in, breathe out, and repeat after me. Sorry. <laughs> Listen to the sounds of the bowls. after me, even though I've been trying so hard to change, I realize that it takes courage to change. I am patient with myself as I step into these life-giving and courageous waters. And I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping underneath the eye, breathe in, breathe out. plan. I recognize, I accept, I give myself permission to lean in to the process of transforming. 
I give room to myself every day to allow the process of transformation. And I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Breathe in, breathe out. When ready, move to tapping on the chin and repeat after me. Even though I may not have given myself permission in the past to feel what I needed to feel to receive the messages that my emotions were trying to tell me. I am open now. I allow the feelings to come. I hold them up. I examine them. And I identify what is underneath. I give myself permission to see this clearly and release it. And I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping on the chin, breathe in, Breathe out. When ready, Move to tapping on the collarbone. And repeat after me. Even though I may have been attached to the outcome, that it had to go a certain way, a certain time. And this is why I was stress eating and overeating. But now I let go of the outcome. I let go of my attachment to the outcome. I give myself permission to allow my desired outcome to happen as I am ready to experience it. And I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Continue tapping on the collarbone, breathe in, Breathe out. And I see somebody has commented, but since I'm far away, I can't see it. <laughs> but thank you for commenting.
Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Final tapping point. Raise your arm and tap four inches underneath your armpit. Ladies, that would be your bra strap. And repeat after me. I surrender. I surrender to the emotions that I may have been pushing down. I surrender. I give myself permission to feel what I need to feel. I take the lessons. I take the memories. I let the memories teach me. I leave any emotions that no longer serve me. I leave them in the past. I leave them at peace. I embrace peace within. I receive clarity. I give myself permission to be visible. I give myself permission to only accept what nourishes me. And I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Discontinue tapping underneath the arm. Lay your hands at their sides. Breathe in, breathe out and allow this last round of sound waves to bathe you in sound and let those thoughts go.
Breathe in, breathe out. I imagine the way you felt about that old problem that you had has drastically, drastically reduced in number. If you'd like to experience this again, I suggest that you save this, share it with friends, share it with, if you are in the medical profession, share this with your patients. Once again, sound healing and sound baths can be a superb complement to any allied health professionals regimen. When I took the training to become certified in EFT tapping, sound baths, sound healing, it complemented really, really well with my background in psychology because what it does, if you're struggling with overeating, stress eating, emotional eating, or trying to lose weight, it helps prune apart that neural acoustic biofield and helps you understand what is perhaps the root cause of the behavior that you wish to nudge a little bit one way or the other. Anyway, if you have questions or if you would like to privately chat about any wonderful concerns or questions that you might have, or if you would like to explore having your own private sound healing sound bath, or if you'd like to even have a workshop basically put on for your corporation as part of your corporate wellness program, it can supercharge any corporate wellness program. And finally, if you'd like to have an engaging and interactive speaker that does more than just talks, but brings the toys to help facilitate transformation, feel free to send a text message to the number that's featured below, 312-601-8510. My name is Dr. Kirsten Grant. I am the president of Phoenix Six, and you can find me on edibleaddiction.com. Everyone, thank you so much. The Dr. Grant Show is on Wednesdays live at 9 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time and Saturdays at 1 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Once again, feel free to reach out to us. You can even schedule a free get to know you session and you can find us on edibleaddiction.com. Much love to you. Bye. Oh, I see the comments, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Esperanza says, beautiful sound and grounded work. Thank you for presenting and sharing you and your service. I appreciate, appreciate your authenticity. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I also see, oh my, I'm sorry, guys. I see other <laughs> great comments as well. We have other wonderful feedback. Sylvia says, thank you for demonstrating this powerful tool. Sound therapy and EFT have been so beneficial for clients overcoming emotional eating. Thank you. Thank you. We also have another wonderful comment, Grand Rising and Happy Hump Day. Thank you so much, everyone, for your wonderful, fantastic feedback. I so, so appreciate it. I will see you guys Saturday and once again, Wednesdays live at 9 o'clock. Oh, 9 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. Bye, everyone.